and then really trying to minimize further exposure once we try to get these things out of you. But yes. it, it really comes down to that. And also being cognizant of the choices we make, right? And I, and I say often to my patients, you know, if we lived like our great grandparents, where you could grow it, kill it, or hunt it, you got yes. to eat it. Yes. You did that. If you slept from sunset to sunrise, you got to do that. You know, if you sat and you gave thanks and you prayed before you, you know, ate, you had periods where you brought your cortisol level down and your immune system was better regulated to survey for cancers and other things, right? Yes. If like I think I think our <laughs> world is so skewed right now that we're not living true to the way that we should be living. And when it comes to cancer, there are toxins that we choose to take in, and then there are toxins that we're unaware of and the repercussions of those alone, or as Kelly alluded to, in combination together yes. that could cause problems.